Imagine if relieving yourself in the restroom could turn into a criminal charge against you. LA City Council voted Tuesday to allow police to arrest anyone who has an unattached catalytic converter without papers to prove lawful ownership. In a few minutes, I'll tell you more about how food banks are running low on this American breakfast staple. How to extract DNA from a strawberry with just a few household items. An underground vault exploded here in this residential area in North Hollywood. You can see behind me a huge mess and debris, a mix of cement, concrete, asphalt, and metal. Kenyan police are continuing their investigation after finding 47 bodies in a forest. Authorities say a preacher, an alleged cult leader, who told followers to starve to death to meet Jesus is the lone suspect. Family and friends of Eric Babosa Gardado has placed flowers and lighted candles in memory of who they say is the kindest soul. Imagine if relieving yourself in the restroom could turn into a criminal charge against you. That's what happened to George K. Porter Middle School 8th grader Tomas Micheo. His parents said he was charged with battery and suspended for allegedly pushing an aide to get into the school restroom after the aide refused to let him in. I tried to squeeze him through because like, there's obviously an opening through his arm. And when I, when I was like here, like bent over, he kind of did this to me like, squeezing me against the wall. 13-year-old Mateo says the A blocked his entry to the restroom, claiming LAUSD's restroom policy only allows three to four occupants at one time. But Mateo says the bathroom was not full. There was only two kids inside. When asked about the unidentified aide's action, a district spokesperson said, quote, that the school administrative teams work hard to create a safe school environment that fosters respect, kindness, and compassion and declined to comment on the specific incident. Michio's father says he believes his son and thinks the district is being too harsh and unfair. To call the police and to put them in the system now, marked for life, I just don't get it. He says the events have affected his son's self-esteem. Even his grades have dropped. He wishes he was at school with his friends. But the eighth grader says he feels nervous about going back to school. He feels like other staff members are targeting him. She said to me, like, um, no pushing today, okay? Like, kind of teasing me about it. Micheo's father said when he asked the school for an investigation report, he was told there was none. Micheo will be returning to school this week. Reporting from Northridge, I'm Sonia Hugh. That is the sound that Esteban Moreno heard when he tried to start his car a few days ago. At time I'm thinking they got me again. Moreno says it was the second time in a year that his catalytic converter got stolen. At this point, uh, don't know what I can do to kind of prevent it. To help victims like Moreno, the Los Angeles Police Department hosted a free VIN marking event over the weekend. While it doesn't necessarily prevent theft, Detective Jeff Lohman says having the VIN etched on your catalytic converter helps in prosecuting the thieves. If you don't have an identified victim in a property crime, it's, it's near impossible to get a prosecution. There has to be, there has to be an, a, a potential victim that says, you know, uh, hi, hi, hi courts, I, uh, I didn't get permission for this person to take my catalytic converter. VIN marking also helps police return recovered catalytic converters to their owners. But Sako Obajin, who runs a muffler shop in Reseda, says the current laws raise questions about the purpose. California law says we cannot install a used catalytic converter. So, you know, now we're falling in that gray area of the law. I mean, are we supposed to put that catalytic converter back on the car or? Arbajan recommends installing a cat shield for those looking for a more immediate solution to deter thieves. In the meantime, LA City Council voted Tuesday to allow police to arrest anyone who has an unattached catalytic converter without papers to prove lawful ownership. If found guilty, they can be fined up to $1,000 or face six months of jail time. Reporting from Reseda, I'm Sonia Hugh.
A dry California is a thing of the past. The series of rain and snowstorms have refilled 12 out of 17 of the state's major reservoirs. It's a huge turnaround considering that late last year, nearly all of California was in a drought. Officials say the drought isn't technically over because certain areas are still drier than others. They still recommend limiting water use. Kenyan police are continuing their investigation after finding 47 bodies in a forest. Authorities say a preacher, an alleged cult leader, who told followers to starve to death to meet Jesus is the lone suspect. The news comes after 15 members of the Good News International Church were rescued from the forest last week. The church's leader, Paul Mackenzie Ntenge, has been in custody since last month after four bodies were found in the woods. He denies responsibility and says he shut down his church four years ago. Kenya's interior minister says all 800 acres of the forest are now sealed off as a crime scene. The religious country has had issues with cults in the past. One country in Latin America is cracking down on suspected gang members. Thousands were moved to a new mega prison in El Salvador. Prisoners were stripped down to white shorts and their heads were shaved. The country's security minister says it will continue until all gang members are captured.